French Montana, not today, not ever. Montana had the nerve to respond to a tweet calling a black woman crusty, nappy head and something. Let me tell y'all something. I ain't here for this anti-black ass rhetoric at all. A lot of people don't understand that that is very anti-black. A lot of people are saying, where well, this nappy is nappy. I feel like I have to tell you all that that's some damn um, anti-black ass behavior. There is no such thing. Let me tell you right now. In 2017, and you're still referring to any black person as nappy headed or well, their hair is nappy, you have a problem. It's anti-black to refer to a black woman or a black man as their hair nappy. Y'all have got to let some of this slave mentality shit go. And the conversation on Twitter where people were just talking and saying, well, you know, her hair was nappy. And I looked at the picture. The woman had braids and she had a little new girl or something growing out of her scalp. And people sit up here and say, well, you know, that is nappy. I, I like, I, I don't, I can't continue on this fight with people saying dumb shit like that. And, and for French Montana to respond to all the tweets and stuff, my wife is a black um, African queen. I don't care. You're not black. And then he said that he's from Africa. I don't give a good goddamn bitch. There are white people from Africa, okay? Africa is a goddamn continent, first of all. That doesn't give you the power to sit up here and say, that doesn't give anybody the power to respond to shit like that. Think about it. I want you to take a second to think about what is nappy hair. What is it? What, are you, what is your definition of nappy hair? Some people went back to the conversations about Blue Ivy's hair being nappy. I was not one of those individuals. I don't know who y'all get me confused with. I ain't one of those, okay? You won't ever hear me say no crazy shit like that. I've always said I don't like the word nappy. Every once in a while, I hear people refer to my beard as nappy and unkept, and it needs to be cleaned, it needs to be cut, it needs to be shaved, all that type of stuff. This is my beard, first of all, okay? I'm going to wear it where the fuck I want to. I'm going to wear it how the fuck I feel. It grows out of my hair like that. It doesn't matter what I do to it, how much I condition it, how much I comb it. It's going to do that. That is my beard. It's part of my blackness. This is my blackness, okay? Your blackness might be different from mine, but we're all black at the end of the day. But what you won't do is to tell me because my hair is not in a curly pattern or it's not straight that my beard is not the T or you ain't feeling a girl. This is me. And we have to learn to be comfortable with ourselves now. We have to understand that black comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors and all types of stuff. We cannot put that shit in one box. French Montana, let me back up to you because I got to educate the girls while I dragging your dumb ass at the same time because I don't think a lot of people understand where this shit comes from. We were told that we were ugly. We were told that we were too dark. We were told that our hair is nappy and that we'll never be anything. They wanted us they wanted us to have the mindset of us not being on the same level as them. That's why we have all these definitions and words and stuff. We cannot, as a group of people, think like that. We cannot, and I don't care who is responding, who said it, I don't give a damn if Beyonce mama said it. I don't care. I don't know who y'all think y'all be talking about. And don't say dumb shit like that unless you done talk to everybody on the damn planet. The fuck gonna stop at me because I don't say dumb shit like that. Okay? That, that word is trash to me and I hate for people to say good hair. I hate everything about that and it made me so mad when I first seen a tweet last night. I had to take my ass to bed because some of this shit is just so draining and then people on Twitter were saying, well girl, her hair is nappy. Bitch, your teeth are nappy. Why the hell you sit up here and talk about a black woman's hair being nappy and bitch, you can't even smile for a damn picture. If you don't move your black and deck of grill built ass on some damn where it's looking like you can put a blender and shit out of business, if you don't don't move your silly ass out my damn way. Some of y'all need to stick to tweeting about reality shows. When it comes to shit like this, just stay quiet. Boom, doom, 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 doom. Stay shut up. Just shut up. Don't comment on stuff like that. French Montana, I would give a damn if you from every continent in Africa. I don't give a damn if you from every state in Africa. I don't give a damn if you from every tribe in Africa. You don't get to talk about blackness. Now, there's a difference between people of color and black people. You could have dragged her on some other things. You did the same thing that Bill O'Reilly just did to Maxine Waters. I don't think y'all understand. Bill O'Reilly went in on this woman's hair. That was the first thing. You could not argue on something else. You 
you had to sit up here and talk about this woman here. Do y'all not see the correlation between this shit? You not seen it. The shit changed. Let me tell you something. Just because you profit off of black music, just because you sit up here and think you black because you done absorbed the culture, does not mean you get to comment and drag a black woman on her hair. You could have came for something else. You could have talked about her outfit. You could have about talked about some other stuff. But I'm going to drag your ass and you're going to learn from this shit. You're going to learn from this shit. I'm glad everybody on your ass. Let me tell you something. You other fake ass Twitter folks, y'all going to learn from this shit too. You can, all y'all ass going to get this work. I went to a couple of people who were sitting here agreeing with French Montana and taking up for him. One had dreads. Girl, do you know in corporate America they don't even consider your dreads as appropriate? Okay? Do, they, do you know that shit? Do you know they'll tell you, girl? You know that you know how many black people have been denied a job from their hairstyles? Do you know the goddamn army has regulations that discriminate on black women in their hair? I could slap the shit out of some of y'all asses. I can't march with some of y'all asses because I better beat the shit out of y'all before we even get there. Because y'all saying dumb shit. Dumb shit just come out y'all mouth. Just dumb shit. Just like, it's just, it's just like diarrhea. I just can't help but to say dumb shit. You just can't, you just can't help it. French Montana, I'm going to keep dragging on, I'm going to be on your ass until you apologize to this woman. Until you apologize to black women across the planet that have experienced discrimination because of their hair texture. And that, and black women hair come in all types of texture. There is no perfect hair texture. I have to put that out because some of y'all sitting here and believe that everybody's supposed to have a big curly hair. Girl, everybody hair don't grow like that. Everybody hair don't do like that. Everybody's hair is not like that. And I just want people to understand that. I see anti-black shit all the time on social media. Some people are sitting here saying, I don't know what these boys out here doing with their hair now. They got this going on. They need to go back to cutting their hair and having to wave it. Why don't we just go back to permanent hair? Okay, why don't we just go back to assimilate to make the white man feel comfortable in their spaces. Why don't we do that shit? Because apparently it helps us from getting shot and killed and slaughtered and shit. Maybe that helps, okay? I'm loving the fact that black women are loving their hair. They want to do all types of stuff with it. The representation of these black women out here wearing their hair is the way they want to goes a long way because we get used to seeing it. We have got to get rid of the word nappy. We have got to get that out of our dictionary this year. If you don't do anything else for me, stop using the word nappy. Stop. It's the same thing as you sit up here saying somebody's too dark, okay? Because her Hair texture comes in all forms. Color comes in all forms as well. So you can't sit up here and say this is the standard or this is nappy. You cannot do that. You've never heard anyone refer to a white woman as nappy hair because you know why? Because you're Eurocentric beauty standards and we think that white is the standard. We have got to get out of that mindset. You've never heard anyone say you nappy headed white woman. Even when we refer to white people being trash or gutter or below or poor, you have to say white trash after it. Have you ever thought about because why is this is seen as the standards? You just use it and just people know exactly what you're talking about. They have, you have to say white trash. You know, when people think of ghetto, they think of black people like we have got to fix some of this shit. It's a journey. It's a journey. I'm frustrated, and, but it's, it's a good conversation because I, I just, I know there are women who have experienced discrimination from their hair. I know there have been black men. I have experienced it too. You know, people tell me, you need to cut your hair. I have heard, even heard family members tell my brother who has, you know, twist locks, that he needs to cut his hair in order to get a high paying job. I don't think we see it when we sit up here and say, you know, nappy hair, it's just trash. There's no such thing as nappy hair. Let me get back on you, French Montana. Let me just educate you on what it is to be a black person in America and experience discrimination in all forms. And you sit up here and sit up here refer to this woman as a nappy hair. If you're still using the word nappy to refer to black women in 2017, I urge you to educate yourself and find out where it comes from and why you sit up here saying it's anti-black and it is trash. Stop using it, girl. Y'all are wearing me thin to the point that I just want to pull some Cersei shit on y'all ass. I just want to put y'all all in the cell and just be done with it. Cause it just seems like some of y'all just don't want to learn. French Montana, you're trash. I don't listen to your music, uh, but I will tell you this, just because you sit here and put out music that's um, consumed sometimes by black people and some aspect, girl, you are not that bitch. You are not that individual, and you will never be that individual, honey. We are not dealing with this shit in 2017. No more, okay? The same thing that we had to get on Young Thug, honey. We won't be tolerating that shit. Young Thugs in here and cursing black women out. We will not tolerate the disrespect of black women in 2017. It has got to stop. And when black women sit up here and voice their concerns or their problems, you need to listen. Stop dismissing their comments on stuff. If they're sitting here saying that's a problem, we need to talk about it. But you're not going to tell a black woman how to feel. That's trash too. Some of y'all are sitting here telling black women, oh, you know, you'll be okay. You need to you know, take the high road. Girl, no, it's a problem for them. And they're sitting here saying it, it's a problem. So let them talk about it. If anything, you need to be using this opportunity to better educate yourself, okay? French Montana has no credibility.